Okay, guys, it's time to do another review from another comic that has been uh, contributed to the channel by our good friend, uh, Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, hope you're watching. And today I'm going to be reviewing the probably one of the most seminal horror comics to come out in the past few years. And that is Scott Snyder and Jock's, uh, like I said, seminal horror comic, Witches. Now, this is uh, so far Volume 1. I think they are working on Volume 2, but uh, Snyder's kind of busy with uh, some other stuff at the moment. Anyway, so if you don't know what Witches is, Witches is a comic from Image that was a six-issue miniseries that Snyder did in his uh, early career when he was still working on Batman. Essentially, the story is about a new family uh, called the Rook family who has uh, moved into a town that is, is holding a dark secret. I know, it's, it's kind of your typical horror film. Um, and it does, it, it does follow some of the horror tropes, but what's interesting is that the um, main antagonists are witches, but they're not like the witches we know of. Witches in this comic book are not like the, you know, your typical ugly, you know, green-skinned witches who fly on brooms. No. These type of witches are supernatural beings that, that are, like, on the top of the food chain that hunt human beings. It's really hard of what they are, but they are do have some form of primal magic, and they are looking to take away the daughter, Sailor. Yeah, the daughter's name is Sailor, and his and, it, and the main focus is the relationship of the of of Charlie Rook, the main uh, one of the main characters, and his daughter Sailor, and the kind of like trauma their family's trying to get over. It's really hard to talk about this comic without spoiling some stuff. For a six-issue miniseries, this comic does have a lot of... is really uh, heavy. This comic gets really heavy, and there's just some very dark stuff in here. But again, for as long as this comic has been out, um, in fact, you can go out and, and probably find this comic in your local comic book shop for only $10. In your in typical, you know, image comic fa fashion, all... Um, all first volume comics are $9.99, so yeah, a, a little over 10 bucks for, you know, a comic that really works as a standalone story. And yes, it is the it is technically a first volume, but really, this comic can work as a one-and-done story. It very much could work as a one-and-done story that you can just read and not follow with the rest of the, with the volumes. And that's what I like um, about this, is that even if you weren't thrilled, you know, even if you were like, yeah, you can just stop here, because you don't have all the answers to this book. You don't have, uh, you don't get a lot of answers to here. But what you do get is some very terrifying uh, scenery and just, go you know, gory looks in here. Jock's artwork is phenomenal. Of course, if you guys have read, like, um, the Black Mirror comic, as well as the current Batman Who Laughs book, then... You already know that this comic has, you know, Jock's artwork is, you know, phenomenal in terms of horror. If you want to see a dark and scary horror book, look no further than Jock's artwork. And it really complements, it's, Jock is one of those artists who really um, complements Snyder's artwork, uh, Snyder's type of writing. Now, most of you guys don't know, I'm not the big, I'm not, while I like Scott Snyder, I'm not the biggest fan of his Batman run. Court of Owls was good. Um, but everything that, especially Zero Year and everything following that, just made me go, yeah, no, no, no. Um, but I do like, I am liking, I am hearing good things about his Justice League run, um, and I especially love his, his indie stuff. Of course, I love his stuff at Vertigo and American Vampire, um... And uh, Chris has told me that he is sending me his other uh, comic from Vertigo called the... I think it's from either Vertigo or Image. But he, bottom line, he is sending me the uh, comic he collabed with with Sean Murphy called The Wake, which is like, a ver is like his take on uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, in a way. So I'm really excited to read... I'm really excited to read The Wake. Um, but yeah... Getting back to witches, it's such a great interpersonal story of dealing with tragedy and how you deal with family life, as well as dealing with that supernatural element that you just cannot explain and cannot run from. Because they make it very clear, these witches cannot be stopped. You cannot get away from them no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do. There is no protection, there is no way to kill them, You're, you are screwed no matter what happens. You are, you know... You're fucked. No matter what happens, you're fucked. Um, 
And that's what I like is that this kind. And again, it does deal with a lot of this uh, this family who's dealing with so much as it is. And every line of dialogue that Snyder gives in here just feels so human. It feels so much like you can almost hear the dialogue of these of this family who has dealt with so much as it is and deal with this new supernatural element is just phenomenal. He is really good at doing interpersonal stuff, especially when it comes to family. Um, apparently this, a lot of the, of the inspiration for Witches from Snyder came from a lot of trauma in his, fa his own family, so that was the big thing for him. Um, so, I re you know, he really probably dug from that kind of trauma and pain and put it into this book. And it is scary. Even Ske Stephen King admits that he was terrified of this book. Which, coming from the king, you know, the the uh, king of horror novels, that's big praise. In fact, Stephen King also, fun fact, if you haven't already, if you don't already know this, um, Stephen King actually helped uh, co-write the uh, first story for uh, American Vampire. And he's kind of like Snyder's uh, master. He's kind of like Snyder's, you know, teacher in a way. But it's very clear from Witches is that Snyder may have surpassed King in this element. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, if you wanted any more, you know, if you wanted any more reason to read this, go check, you know, not, you know, this gets Stephen King's seal of approval. Um, but I will have to stress, this comic is not for young readers. This is not a young reader's book. There is swearing, there is nudity, there is violence, and it's this, some of those imagery in here is a little too intense for young readers. So this is for mature readers only. Um, so I have to stress that um, profusely that this is not a, you know, all ages book. But if you are looking for something to be scared by, and, you know, we do have a slew of horror movies coming shockingly in April, at, well, late March and throughout April, we, you know, this is a nice way to get you, you know, into the mood for some early scares. So you guys tell us in the comments below. If you've read Witches, let us know what you guys thought of it. Like it, hate it, let us know in the comments below. And if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.